Hi, welcome back everybody. This is Lynn with Paper Life and this is going to be part two of our cereal uh, junk journal cover. On um, the first part, we worked through how to do the first part or the front part of our cover. Our final width, including our spine, was let's say 12 and 1 quarter wide by 8 and 1 quarter long. While I took a break, I went ahead and got my signatures. I did four signatures. This little piece measured the same as what we put there as our spine. Let's see if I can get that into view, about half an inch. And I did my signatures real tight together. My hope was, even though it didn't work out that way, that I wouldn't have to trim down the sides because I, okay, it might be a little OCD, but I don't like my papers overhanging each other. I want them to be nice and flush. So I did, I think it was six pages in each one. Two, three, four, five, and yeah, six, about six pages in each one. Knowing me, there's probably one that has five, one that has seven. I'm not real concerned about how many pages are in each one. So you can tell some of these I haven't trimmed down, so I'll trim them down later. So what we're going to do at this point is sew in our hidden spine in here, or not sew in. We're going to glue down our hidden spine, and then we're going to put our front inside cover to a, our journal. Yes, those are the words I'm looking for. Wow, this is going to be interesting video since I can't talk. I also went and cut down because... This was a little bit thinner than what I wanted it to be. I went and cut two more pieces that are eight inches tall and about, okay, it's a little over five and a half. If we want to get really particular, it's going to be five and five eighths tall. The one thing I didn't mention, which I probably should have, this was half an inch wide, but I made it just a little bit shorter than what our original spine was. I need a shorter ruler because this is all up in my way. This was eight and a quarter. I made this, hopefully I trimmed it down, made this one, no, if I didn't trim it down, at least not well enough. Okay. Oh wait, it would help if I held it in the right spot. Okay, I made this eight inches long. So I took off about a quarter of an inch so that it will sit in here pretty nicely. So let's get this out of the way. And the first thing we're gonna work on is let's go ahead and prep our spine to go into our book. What I want to do is, I'm gonna part this kind of so I can get to a good working Flatness, I guess, is the word I'm going to use. I'm going to take my crazy tacky glue that's all glued up, and I'm going to put a little glue here and a little on these sides. I say a little, but you guys know how my little with glue is. I should probably buy stock in it, but... And what I'm going to do, you know what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my utility knife and I've already kind of put this down and folded it, but if you didn't, you can always mark a line up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in on this part right here and just cut, hopefully I can just cut it and not myself or the papers. So I'm going to cut that into a little flap. The same thing on this side. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is, now that I have that done, is I'm just going to take this one and I'm going to fold it over as snug as I can get it up here at the top. So I want that to be a real nice little crease. Something other than my finger. I'm just going to kind of braid that down. Ooh, nice fancy word usage today. On these, what I want to do is instead of bringing them straight down like I was originally going to do, 
we're gonna bring them down at just a little bit of an angle. And the reason for that is when we put these on, I don't want there to be, I don't want this to be above our covers. I hope that makes sense. If not, hopefully when I do it, it will make sense. I don't know. You guys should know by now we just wing this stuff, right? We just go with it. And I never know what I'm going to do before I do it. So I'm going to put a little extra glue right in there. Because I didn't have enough glue to begin with here, right? I'm doing the same thing on this one. I'm not going to bring it straight down. I'm going to bring it over at just a little bit of an angle. Hold on a second because I am going glue crazy. I'm going to put something under here. So hopefully I don't have to wipe it off of all my pages. So we got that one down. Do the same thing over here. Because I'm sure I'm going to have glue squeezed through. I'm hoping I'm not completely in your guys' way. But it's kind of hard to do, just so you know. Alright, so maybe I'm just in a complaining mood. Oh, it's so hard to do these crafts. Okay. Anyways, over it. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing up on this side. What I had done was just kind of folded it down and then folded, folded, that doesn't sound very intelligent, these sides over up nice and tight to my spine. So that's what kind of gave me my marking lines. I didn't intend for that, however, it seemed to work out good. I'm going to cut through there again. A little extra tear. Okay, we're going to glue, 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 because that's what I do. I should name, I should change my name to like glue obsessed person or something. I don't know how people do it when they use that perfect amount of glue and it doesn't go anywhere, because that is so not me. I'm going to just wipe some of this glue over on my tab so that I don't have to apply more glue. Okay, doing the same thing on this side, I'm just gonna put it at a slight angle. I probably should have done this little tab that I had the paper towel on first, because that would have made sense. So why would we have done something that made sense? All I'm doing is using my nail again, even though I'm not supposed to be, to kind of force that down. Hopefully get my glue to tack a little bit. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. That's my goal anyways. Because you guys know my goals never really work out as planned. So at this point, I'm going to set this piece to the side and hopefully let that glue dry some. We're gonna grab one of our back pieces. I have a little bit different wallpaper for the inside. Still has a little bit of that old shimmery. I don't know if it's showing up, but. I don't really know why I went for this piece because gold is not one of my go-to colors, but hey, it worked. All right. So you can tell I like Rice Krispies. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue this brown side down because even though my wallpaper is really thick and you're not gonna be able to see this, I just out of habit do it that way because if you're working with something like paper or fabric, sometimes it can show through. Now hopefully after I said that, I'll remember to do it the right way. All right, so we're going to go crazy with the glue, kind of like normal. Don't go crazy like the glue like I do. I would suggest trying to be a little more careful with it, unless you enjoy making a mess like I do. Making a mess, I enjoy. Cleaning up my mess, not so much. All right, so we are going to get that little dry piece of glue off my finger. We're just going to lay it down. Again, leaving a about an inch around 
I mean, like everything else I do, more is always better. We don't do that whole less is better. You are more than welcome to actually measure this and do it right. However, I believe my motto in life is fake it. Fake it till you make it, right? All right. Woohoo! I'm going to try to be smart and use that paper towel underneath my glue squishing out project here. I'm going to tape my bone fold. Um, if you have one of those brain tools, by all means, this would probably be a good time to actually use it. I am not just being lazy. I don't actually have one. But you can use this. You can use your glue bottle. I have packing tape here. You can use that. Anything that is kind of heavy and roundish will work just fine. Oh, there goes my paper towel. Not that I need that or anything. No, why would I need that? Because I'm a hot gluing mess. That was something else I was going to talk to you about. The other time when I used the paper, the moist paper towel to wipe off the glue. I think it warped my board just a little bit. So you can see there's a little bit of a warp in there. But all I'm going to do is basically set it on something heavy and kind of help it bend itself back out. We hope. I don't know. I'm not really worried about it because it's going to basically move itself back into shape for me. So same thing as what we did before. We're going to make little slashes. I know, isn't this so much fun watching me do the same things over and over and over? I don't know, if we do it over and over, you're bound to see me make a couple mistakes, right? I can only fake being right on it so many times. All right, handy dandy glue. Come on glue. Okay, so I had one of those tacky glues that have the lid that sets it upside down. However, don't ask me how. I lost the lid part of it. I think I buy new tacky glue just because I can't find the other lids. So if you go into craft stores and lids are missing, I know nothing about it. No, I'm just joking. I don't know. I like the little bottles because usually by the time I lose the lid, I'm pretty empty. I need like a little clip so that I can clip it down here and the lid just doesn't come all the way off. Yeah, that's what I need. Hey Tacky Glue executives, if you guys happen to hear this out of like the five of you guys that actually watch me, um, you know, just a little suggestion of something you can do. All right, so we're gonna call that good enough. Oh, I already glued that side. Look at me trying to be all proactive. Because that usually doesn't work out well. I gotta go back in and get my nails done soon. I'm sure she's gonna love the fact I've been crafting with them again. Oh well, I just don't tell her that part. All right. So now that that's glued down, do a little squiggly line, artistic ability here. Yeah. I don't have fun at all with my glue. Actually, I think I try to be nice to it so maybe it likes me and I'll behave. It'll behave the way I want for it to. It hasn't worked yet. And I just have a little extra glue on here. And believe it or not, I don't think I got enough glue into this little cubby. So I just put a little there. All right. I'm not super concerned about this edge because it's going to be covered up by our spine. That's why I left that piece of wallpaper on that a little bit wider. 
and that'll make sense once we get that far, hopefully. Maybe. If I do my job right. But it usually doesn't happen that way. So I'm going to... Oh, I'm really sorry, guys. You guys are all wobbly now. And since I looked to see how wobbly you are, I realized I'm not super in frame. Yay! Hopefully you guys aren't too out of frame because I don't want to have to redo this. I'm mean like that. Alright, I'm going to try to get this little corner to go up just a little bit. So I'm going to get a little bit closer to try to show you. What I'm doing is I didn't cut my wedge out all the way up to here. There's a little bit of a gap. So I'm going to try to fold that over. And hopefully it'll stay in place like that in the corner. And I need a little more glue on these little side wingies going on there. And just try to kind of push that down. Maybe not such a mess today. I am really going to try not to make a huge mess today. Mostly because I don't want to clean it up afterwards. Stop making a mess. All right, so my really sweet husband has maybe talked himself into editing my videos for me. Don't worry, you guys will st still be able to see me make a mess and mess up. Because, you know, that's most of the fun right there, right? Why else would you watch these videos? But kind of fast forwarding through some of the more boring parts, maybe. So, unless he has seriously regretted making that offer. He may be helping me with these. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, which is just kind of try to fold that corner piece up on there. I'm not going to lie. I'm really kind of impressed that that one worked out because it usually doesn't happen like that. So hopefully, unless he has... Um, Realize the insanity that he has offered to do. We'll be able to make these videos a little shorter, maybe. You know, the boring stuff like watching me try to put, push this paper down and get it to glue. Or here in a minute when I have to do the other side. Since you already see me do one. All I'm trying to do right now is take my paper and just try to kind of push it into that, up against the box in that corner. It's probably not gonna work out very well. My theory is it would give it a little bit better, I guess a sharper edge when I fold it all over. I don't know, it's probably a total waste of time. But I said to do it, so do it. You have to do it just like me, except that part. All right, going to glue, 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 because that is my favorite part in life. I'm not going to glue the other side, though, because I probably won't get there in time. Yes, using this wallpaper, hopefully I didn't just bump you again. Using this wallpaper will make this corner thicker. However, to be honest, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference inside my book. But, you know, it really comes down to what type of material you're using to cover it with. I didn't really 
complete this whole book out. It was kind of more of a wing it. If I had, I might, well, I know I wouldn't have went with this because I didn't know what I was doing. I just grabbed some stuff I wanted to use. I look at me trying to be all, oh, I'm going to be slick and not white glue on my finger. All right. Just trying to kind of press that up against the edge of the cereal box. Wipe off my glue. Again, no one's ever going to see this side of it, so, you know, whatever. We're going to call that one pretty well glued down. Yeah. Just fussing with my corners, making sure I like the way it's all sitting. That tends to be kind of the hardest part about doing the rounded corners. Even though I really like the way they look, they tend to take a little more finessing. To make sure they are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Oh, I have so much glue on my hands. All right. Same thing. Glue, glue, glue. Press, 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 glue, glue, glue. More, 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 press, press. All right. So I think that looks pretty decent. I'm gonna set that to the side. It might take four days for the glue to dry. I think what I'm going to do is pause you for just a minute while I cover this other one. I'm going to do it this exact same way I did this one. So I don't really think you guys want to see me go through the same process all over again. So pause for a second. All right, everybody, we're back. I went ahead and did my other inside panel. This video is going a little bit longer than what I intended to, but I don't want to have to make you sit through another video. Usually I try to keep this shorter for you. So because I always mess up, I'm going to make sure that I have it, have my book facing the direction I want it to be facing. Take my inserts. These should be fairly well dried at this point. Um, make sure these are going the direction I want them to. It's mostly a lot of just blank writing paper, so it doesn't really matter which direction it goes. The first part I'm going to do is just glue right along here. I'm just going to glue right along here, and then I'm going to apply it here. So. I want to make sure I get my threads pretty good because I just use some bank baker's twine to sew in my signatures. I usually try to use something stronger. And guys, if I ever do a swap with you, I promise I make yours a little bit better. I'm just, like I said, this one's going to be for me. It's going to go into a like travel journal setup. So it won't be used for very long and it will have its own, you know, stronger, more protected cover on there. So I'm not really stressing it being super durable all on its own. And make sure I didn't flip that around again. I'm going to hopefully just kind of put that there, kind of judge where my center is. 
between the two. Yeah, I promise I spend more time doing your guys' books. Hopefully get that to kind of press down and pack for me a little bit so we can carry on with our lives. Goodness gracious, come on tacky glue, you're supposed to be all quick tacking. About halfway, stay about halfway for me, okay. Now, yeah, that's going to want to flip right back up. But I'm not stressing it at this moment. I'm going to run a bead of glue right down where I had that separation between the spine and the cover. Try to kind of hold this up. Hopefully I'm kind of in view for you. I'm just going to press my wallpaper down into that spine. Kind of like so, we hope. This is one time you don't want to follow my advice and try to use less glue than I do, please, because it does make it a little bit more of a mess. However, I don't know how to do that. It goes against my nature. It goes against my nature, man. Okay, I'm just gonna close that up, make sure it's sitting in there fairly decent. It looks to be pretty good right there. All right. Well, if nothing else, you never have to worry about my books coming apart because they don't have enough glue. I'm going to go in and do the same thing on this side. Run a little bead across here. Take my score tool wherever I threw it to. And I'm going to try to get this on camera as best as I can. Take my score tool, bone fold, whatever you happen to be using, and run it right along. I'm trying to kind of push my spine down a little bit. That's why I'm running it sideways. Okay, you're going to run it right along where you put your spine in and where you have that separation between your spine and your cover. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully you can, unless I mess up, and then hopefully you can't. Um, trying to make sure that's in camera pretty well. So see, it's kind of fitting down into these joints that we created. And all you want to do at this point, since it's tacky glue and it takes a little bit longer to dry, which is good, is just kind of use your bone fold, press up any areas that you may want to press in, you know, kind of hold it flat, mess with it a little bit. In a perfect world, you would give this some time to dry. However, this isn't a perfect world. And I don't want to pause this video again for you. And I don't want it going on for days. So we're going to act like I let that dry for a while. I highly recommend letting that dry for a little while. So that when I move on to these other steps, you're not constantly having to go back through and redo what you've already done. Like I'm going to have to do. So all I did was put a little bit of glue on here, and I'm just kind of trying to press it down into place. Kind of, because I didn't let mine dry, I have to kind of go back in and make sure I didn't pull that out of that crease, which I did up here. All right, guys, I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna pause you for a minute. I'm gonna let this dry so that this video doesn't become longer with me trying to go back and constantly fix what I've done because I didn't let it dry. So I will be right back. Probably take me 10, 15 minutes from my end. It'll be magic of YouTube. I'll be back much quicker than that for you. All right, guys, I'm back. I adjusted my camera for when I sent you on a dizzying head spin because I hit my tripod. I had a friend ask me the other day about these 
blue paper towels that I use. Being a daddy's girl and spending way too much time in garages and mechanic shops and getting parts for vehicles, you can get these at basically any part supply store. They work really well because you can get them wet. They're almost like a cloth fabric paper. I don't know. They're really cool. I like them. All right, so that is dry-ish. Probably not perfectly dry, but good enough for me. So I'm going to glue down this other side. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, so on my last video, I tried to use the program that my husband uses for um, editing films. I had one heck of a time. Because some reason, YouTube always puts my videos where they look sideways. I don't get it. So I tried using this program, and all it ended up doing was making it really sideways. I got frustrated and just posted it. So I think that's why my husband is feeling sorry for me and volunteered to... Uh, edit them for me which is funny because usually I'm the one in charge of the computer when it breaks and I'm sure one of my Adobe file or programs that I have in this like massive uh, file thing I have file thingy thingy bob has a uh, video editor however I don't know. I just don't feel like trying to do something different. All right, so now that those these little flaps are glued down, um, before you guys ask, because I'm sure it would probably be helpful information, I'm going to give a ballpark of what I cut this wallpaper to. And that is going to be, a, let's say, three and a half inches. You don't really need it that big you don't there's no precise measurement on it I just kind of make it I want it to come over because that helps hold that spine in and this is going to lay down like this I don't want this piece to come all the way over to the spine I want it to stop before I get to the spine so I didn't measure that too bad this piece here, you don't have to use the box for it. You can use, you know, cardstock. I've done that plenty of times. The only reason I used the box was to add a little more structure to it. I know, probably way too much glue. Luckily, I don't think anybody is with the glue administration. My daughter came home from school one time because they were having this class on like drug prevention and all this and she came home and she was like mom just so you know you need to be really careful with your glue because it can affect you and I guess they were like learning about huffing or something like that I'm like okay baby I said I completely understand it's like however what I have inside the house is non-toxic it's okay but Maybe it is huffy. Maybe that is why I enjoy it. Okay, just joking. I'm anti-drug. Nobody like huff tacky glue and ask me why it doesn't work very well. I'm going to get a little more glue on here. Yeah, don't huff tacky glue here, people. As far as I know, it's water. I mean, it's water-based, so it shouldn't do anything. But, God, I can see the complaints coming in now. So yeah, Lynn told us to huff glue. No, please don't. If you're gonna add on a closure, now would be a great time to do it. Or even before you glued the signatures in. Like I said, this one's not gonna have a closure. So I'm not worried about it. But if you're doing like a lace closure, if you glued it in between these two layers, it comes out really nice. It's a real nice finish. Okay, so this is not going to be perfectly down for the time being because it's going to take some finessing to kind of 
pinch it all down into the right spots, mostly because my corners are really thick with using that wallpaper. So I'm just gonna leave that for the time being, let that glue start to tack a little bit more. I'm going to watercolor with my glue again on this side. Yeah, but I thought that was cute that she came home and told me that. She was very concerned about my safety. It's one of those moments of, oh, I can only imagine what she told her teacher about that one. Oh, my mom huffs glue all the time. Not a good thing. I was like, really? You're not concerned about like the stains and the finishes, clear coats and stuff like that that I use that's actually toxic? Okay. Ah. Don't drop your board like I did. I'm just trying to kind of line this up. I really wanted it to be a nice tight fit on there. I didn't want it to have too much of a gap around the edges. That's why I only did that quarter inch. And I don't know. I don't think that's down there very well. So let me recreate that crease. I'm going to just kind of try to pinch this on. Really, this would be a great time to get out any of your little um, clamps to hold that on while it dries. But that's all you're going to do is just kind of keep pushing that down, making sure it stays in or get tired of it like I probably will here in a minute and grab some clamps. <laughs> little clips whatever you got handy all right guys well that was how to make a junk journal cover out of a cereal box and I use wallpaper um, my finished cover size is going to be all the way over to the spine I'm about an eighth short of six inches by eight and a quarter. We should be looking at about a half inch spine, but of course my signatures are always thicker than what they should be. So I'm actually about an eighth over a half inch, but my original spine was about a half inch. Um, I hope that helped everybody. If not, uh, forward your complaints on to, I don't know, whoever you want to, because I don't know. All right, guys, that was that. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time.